good day and welcome back to elementary 72 gaming now here is some bad news from my side we just got a butt kicked as you can see there are 300,000 and six uh, 306,000 in the lead over me so yeah that's not just me right my, my entire clan just basically got absolutely obliterated by these guys we're beating them in miscellaneous um, ice golem and fire knight objectives so we can see that these guys didn't really focus on taking these they decided to go after regular upgrades and this here just goes to show the difference between two differently placed teams so yeah if you look at them uh, they are 36 million power uh, clan let's have a look uh, 97, 71, 75, 77, 87. Okay, never mind. Uh, this is actually not fair. They've got one, two, three, three low levels, right? And just for a quick uh, recap on the other side, this is what the member standings look like 52, 51. Yeah, you can see they, they have a clear power advantage. Uh, they have higher level players in general. They have a massive edge on us just for the start of this fight. So, honestly, that's going to give them a lot of boost. Now, as you can see, I'm at 51,000. Um, considering where they are, we need to make 1.5 million to actually beat them. That means everybody in the alliance, the alliance that I'm in, has to score over 50,000. Unfortunately, they are also catching up very quickly and as you can see, these guys are really low and they're really beating us. Now, unfortunately, this was a poorly matched um, team. Uh, if you're looking at it carefully, their levels are just crazy high. Our levels are crazy low. So, you're fighting a powerful team with a weak team. It's generally going to go to the more powerful team. We're still an easy, uh, easier to fight team in the lower levels. We're looking at scoring about 60,000 per person to make up for those who aren't logged on and those who won't participate. So, yeah, we, we're really looking to get 10,000 each extra, and that's 20 people, so it's 200,000. So, we'd only be able to make up for about four people with that 60,000. Right, if we can score more than that, like 70,000 per person in the top uh, 20, then we can count out all the way out till, uh, let's see. So yeah, till 22. And if everybody from level 20 upwards scores uh, 70,000 plus, these two can score 50,000. But that's just a really big ask at this point because we are really far behind. Looking at them, their lowest is 4,000. And that's at level 27, they have three no-shows. On our side, we have two no-shows with our lowest being 1,200. Considering the ease of this week and the fact that you can score way more than 1,000 quite quickly, it's really not looking like it's going to go in our favor. But nonetheless, I am looking to do something crazy. If you can't beat them by straight up competition, there is a second option on doing this here. Improvement, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, my guys uh, are already on their third level masteries and i've got two three open to third level mastery four open to third level mastery can't go to third level mastery because rank six is locked on her so i can get her up and i can get everything ready for her if i want to this is open to to the to the sixth level mastery but there's nothing in here not a very good idea to go and chase it and as you can see there's not enough xp um, at the moment to get it to max level so hold off on getting this uh, champion to the top I can see the passive is active that's good and you can see these aren't really leveled we're looking at this fully leveled basically just one 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 that's three away from maxed out fully leveled and yet again another three away from maxed out so my, my champions are really powerful they just a little bit away from breaking through and getting another edge so i'm going to give them the masteries as one of the first things to do and this is something for you to think about if you're ever in the back like this here if you can compete at their level and you know that they're scoring more from using 
um, similar levels of energy all you've got to do is find a way to get past them and the reason why it's such a big problem for uh, somebody who's 97 to face guys who are in their 50s uh, in terms of level is that 40 levels is 40 extra energy per potion and 40 extra energy per gem uh, spend. That is massive. 40 isn't just one or two points, especially if they can do things like uh, Dragon level 25, um, Golem level 25. That's a 300 score and it's regular and it's doubled in the sense that 600. So they're getting 600 per score and they're spending less uh, energy than us and they're going to go for less time than us total to get their scores. So you get it, it's, it's too high for me to catch but there are three options for me to catch them right now and I'm going to be chasing all three um, in sequence. So I'm giving this year four or five rounds to try and get uh, some points. It's not going to be the decider for me. I know it's not going to be the decider. Then after this year, I am heading off to uh, to train up champions again. Honestly, 18 hours might just be enough for me to get another two champions uh, leveled out at level 3 to level 4. Getting a level 5 level up in this time might be impossible. I have 300 AP I can gain immediately from, um, from Tech Team Arena. But that's just about it. I can't really compete with those guys on top who are really uh, shouting down towards us on our lower level. And you saw that there were a lot of them who are at least uh, 20 levels above us. So with that being said, their top to our top, we're looking at a massive um, power disadvantage. Besides the power disadvantage, there's the advantage of time played, uh, gear scores. They, they just have so much of an advantage. This was a poorly matched uh, team versus team. Their other team should have had less than 50% of their clan active in order for them to have paired against us. That would have been an equal match, but this isn't. That's just because of the difference in power. Just like how I showed in Tag Team Arena, this is one of the things that can happen. But I, I can still pull a win for my team if I'm willing to push in some crazy strategies and hopefully pull out the big W in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go after uh, Tech Team Arena and Individual Arena. I'm going to try and score the remaining uh, medal that I need for uh, 150 AP boost from the next uh, big hit over there. I'm going to try and score some potion scores when I need it for the next uh, potion score. I'm going to try and gain uh, gear where I need to gain gear in the next few levels and all of that has to come together perfectly to get me to another AP score before all of this time is up just so that I can get through to the next level on my characters because my character is about to level up in the game or the, the profile level is about to go up by one that gives me one extra AP, one extra AP isn't a lot, doesn't make a big difference but it will make a difference to whether or not I can actually win a few of these fights as they're coming up and this isn't going to be an easy one it's, it's really um, crunching down on how much I have to push I'm not used to pushing for 80 to 100 thousand score in um, regular battles but we're facing, a, we're facing off against the team who's well above us with too much of power for us to face off against I know with 150 score you can basically 10 times uh, the dragon at level 20 and level 20 dragon is worth 200 points so yeah that's a crazy figure to even be competing against there was another reason for this and I got it oh I, I thought I had a void chart as well but I didn't Nah, didn't get what I wanted. Too bad. I make mistakes quite a bit as well, as you can see. I, I hit the wrong section over there. I was actually supposed to do this. I've got 392. I normally save this here for some really crucial crunches in tournaments, but this isn't a crucial crunch uh, like that. It's a different standard altogether. Oh, I need one. Then that will go through. Then I'm going to Ice Golem's Peak, stage 13 or higher. Okay, that's perfect. I need five or six artifacts from stage 13 or higher. Ice Golem. 15. Uh, that's going to be a heavy farm. It's not an easy one. 
and three star or seven star of Palace of Arabia in Punto. Okay, that there is already done. Unlock two tier four masters. I already got it done. Five superior arcane potions. That's gonna be difficult. Actually, this is gonna be very difficult. It's worse than I thought it was. And as you can see, I'm at 78. I'm on the brink of changing over. In terms of uh, big guns, this is my big guns that I'm hiding. And I need to get this done right away. I need a win. It's that simple. And nothing here is within my uh, crush scope. I, I will probably lose points and I don't need to lose points at all. Okay, here we go. I should be able to beat this one here with my quest too. Now, this is something which people will generally notice when you check your enemies. You aren't paired very closely in terms of power and that will make these massive uh, voids for you to fall into. My team was probably averages far less than this team that we're facing off against and that's because there most probably isn't another team in the same league as us on the lower level. We were most probably facing off against uh, a rank 600 or 700 team. This isn't going to be an easy fight and this team, so the, the team on the opposition side, is supposed to be in at least tier 3 considering how big they can generally score. 100,000 per player should be where they're aiming for at least 4 or 5 of their players, so they should be in tier 2. Tier 3 teams are another story altogether, that's when you hit the 90 plus, they should be able to score at least a million per player. And you just get it, I'm, I'm actually counteracting what I said there because I actually realized I was thinking about a 71 and saying they should score 100,000 and that's because I know my score at the moment is already in the 50,000s and before this is over I'm going to score 100,000. That says that people in my league can score 100,000. That means they should be in a league above this but they haven't been able to produce and they're now getting their advantage against the weaker team. It happens and there's nothing you can do against that type of uh, unlucky arm. I thought this would be a loss for me and I'll win the last one. Oh yeah, this is a win. Wow. Oh, there's it. I got my points. I'm not worried. The last one I have a very big secret weapon on this one. And there's it. It's in action. <laughs> uh, this, These two champions put together just make a, a very good pairing. Because the one weakens the enemy and the other has an attack that can brutally dismantle an enemy. And I use them in sequence. This is a risky one, probably a 50% chance of failure, so I'm going for it anyway. I actually realized that there's one champion who isn't in the lineup as yet, who should be here already. I would have been farming potions if it wasn't for how far behind uh, my entire clan fell in this tournament to be honest. So yeah, you're getting to see me do some really silly things to try and catch up in a tournament. As I said, this is the, the crunch time, you need to think carefully, I've got two potions that's uh, 240 AP plus 300 that's 540 AP, what can I do with 540? With 540, I could possibly um, level up one more champion. Now I lost this. The moment she healed, it was over for me. I don't have a healer on this town, and my support can't really heal. All you can do is brutally assault to the front or take a hit. Yeah, and there's healing by the time.
if this isn't even a chance to win. This uh, champion already now has a massive heal. So there's no chance of me taking uh, that champion in particular down. Oh wow. As I said, the game can be a little bit unfair with the way that things are, are laid out. And I understand the reasons behind it. You can't have the game uh, set so much so that just talent wins it. Because you have to have the pay to win aspect. And without that there, this game would be unprofitable. It, it isn't something that I normally comment on for the sake of the games. But uh, yeah, they really do need it for a few other reasons as well. Uh, Honestly, without the big spins on some sides of the game, the game would become too easy and people like me who take advantage of um, non-meta plays would end up uh, ruling the roost. And that's just one of the things that you have to watch out for. You get some players who are really good and one of the big catches over here is these champions are really high level so I'm going to be pushing them to do some crazy stuff. These two will go to level 40. She's going to level 50. She's almost there, right at the edge. I'll push it for a few levels, take one of the potions that I know are ready. And I was actually wrong about that. I don't have 540. I have another 120 because there's another potion that's already ready for use. So yeah, that's gonna be another big um, hem out. All right, so Basically, I've shown you what's going on, how I'm desperately pushing and scrambling at the last second to try and pull a miracle. And that's literally what I'm trying to do, pull a miracle on this year. 102 score, that's a good score for a quick and easy. It's not going to be that high for all of this. It's going to go down really, really fast after this year. Uh, even with their heavy scoring, they can't match what she's putting out for levels. Ascending her doesn't give me as much score as I hoped. So, yeah, that's just uh, an another scary part of this whole situation. 100 points, I have to figure out how to make even more. There was something else I'm supposed to check. Right now, I'm gonna head for that location. You can see this is ready to go, there's 10 there. This here isn't gonna be done, that isn't gonna be done. But over here, I just realized fighting Tag Team Arena with this team from a single faction. Okay, so I just have two drop off one. Be three faction more stages without losing it. That's a difficult one as well. So let's see what I can do in faction modes. Enable super raids. May the odds be in my favor. I'm going for three runs without any losses, so why not just uh, underpower it and hope that everything goes my way. All three survive, that's one. I need it three times, it's another thing altogether. disappointed in what I have to do here. Getting a little bit more score would have been way better for me. That's really really fast and it's just giving me these resilience uh, tokens. Quick and easy. The score is the same for all levels here, yeah, just for, by the way, only the level ups will give me extra score if it happens. And this would be the round for a level up if there is going to be one. So 
so yeah we got to see one of the fastest oh no the next round would be the round four level up i made a mistake i thought it was the sixth time blast blast and here we go final stretch knockout and yeah i got two level ups that gave me 10 points because they level three that's what you get the uh, five per uh, level at that level so yeah fantastic i've got that and i've got that easy peasy lemon squeezy now i just have to see if i can create uh gain that one i should have tried it here and start That. So I'll come out here and have a look for minutes. That's it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so you got the gist of it. I'm scrambling to try and find something to help me win. That's all that I have for today. Catch you all in the next one. Have a great day.